New at six, concerns that there may not be a decision election night is putting a new focus on congressional elections here in Florida. CBS 4's Mike Vasilinda tells us if neither presidential candidate receives 270 electoral votes, the ultimate decision would be up to the U.S. House of Representatives. Florida has 14 Republican members of the U.S. House and 13 Democrats. That is really significant if no candidate gets 270 electoral college votes. And then the election of the president kicks into the U.S. House of Representatives. Two of the state's 27 seats seem to be in play, HD 15 and Polk, where the incumbent lost a primary. And it is seen by Democrats as the biggest likelihood of a pickup for the Democrats. But the most vulnerable in Florida is 26, held by Democrat Debbie Marscal Powell. She's facing a strong challenge from Miami-Dade Mayor Carlos Jimenez. If we want to stop socialism... Florida Republicans are putting on a full-court press to keep their majority. You get one vote. Uh, and around the country now, it's 26-24 in terms of states that have majority Republican delegations, and that makes the House of Representatives just more important than ever. Not since 1824 has the U.S. House decided who would be president. It's a long shot, but in the 2020, everything seems to be a long shot. It's just one of these most unpredictable presidential contests. It almost happened in 2000. The Florida House went so far as to name GOP electors. 79 yeas, 41 nays. Just in case the outcome of the race was still tied up in court. Reporting from the state capitol, I'm Mike Vasilinda.